Good morning Davao, Mindanao, North, South, East, and West. This is your newscaster Elijah Hilcacho. But before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. For the headlines, our weather forecast as of 3 a.m. Typhoon Nika was located 120 kilometers east-southeast of Kasiguran Aurora with maximum winds of 120 km per hour and gusts up to 120 km per hour. Storm is moving west, northwest at 20 km per hour. Local news LTFRB ICE Interim Modernized PUVs for Davao City Kian Hotline receives over 100 calls in 2023. FPRRD advises Sara to leave politics. FPRRD bows out of Davao City politics. National News Kibuloy hospitalized over heartbeat irregularity. Russell's action undermined public trust. International News How Trump's staffing has already turned into a war. United States carries out second consecutive night of strikes in Yemen. Entertainment News SNL cast directly appeal to President-elect Donald Trump during cold open post-election episode. Grammy Award nomination 2025 revealed. Sports News Lionel Messi and Inter Miami crash out of MLS playoffs in stunning lose to Atlanta United. LSU criticized after bringing Cage a live tiger into stadium before defeat to Alabama. Featured stories Davo City welcomes new green spaces with Echo Parks initiative. Alabama's Jalen Moreau powers Crimson Tide to victory over LSU. Trivia. Did you know that Andres Bonifacio was self-taught in the art of war? Weather forecast. Typhoon Nika update. As of 3 a.m., Typhoon Nika was located 120 kilometers east southeast of Casiguran Aurora. With maximum winds of 120 km per hour and gusts up to 150 km per hour. The storm is moving west northwest at 20 km per hour. For the local news uh, weather forecast, passing clouds are expected with possible passing showers throughout the day. Temperatures around 31 degrees Celsius with a slight breeze. Humidity levels will remain high, reaching about 80% in the morning and slightly decreasing later. For convenience, it's best for you to bring an umbrella and in case of light shower. Local weather forecasts. The Philippines will generally experience a scattered clouds with rains more likely in the eastern regions, influenced by winds from the northeast bringing an umbrella or raincoat when stepping out to avoid getting ca caught in surprise showers. Local news, LTFRB ICE Interim Modernized PUVs for Davao City. In Davao City, the LTFRB Davao plans to deploy 28-seater modernized PUVs temporarily to address the shortage of transport vehicles. LTFRB Davao Regional De 
Director Nonito Llanos III shared that a feasibility study is underway with data gathering and street surveys scheduled soon. Currently, around 1,000 PUVs or 30% of authorized vehicles are no longer in service affecting commuters. The shortage arises as operators await assistance from the Davao Bus Project, a 73.4 billion pesos modernized initiative. The deployment of interim MPUVs awaits approval for Davao City's government and the LTFRB central office. The study is expected by mid-November. Kian Hotline receives over 100 calls in 2023. In 2023, Davao City Keen's Gabriel Hotline receives about 128 calls addressing child abuse, exploiting, exploitation, and abandonment. The City Social Welfare and Development Office, CSWDO, reported assisting 37 children in conflict with the law, or CICL, and 224 children at risk through interventions at centers like Balay Pagasa and Balay Dagupan or community-based support. As of September 2024, the CSWDO tracked 33 CICLS and 122 at-risk children. Also receiving 120 calls, former CICLS who have graduated from these centers are now working in various sectors. With some returning to inspire current CICLS, the hotline is 0908-818-4444. Honors Ski and Gabriels, a child abuse victim. FPRRD advises Sara Duterte to leave politics. Former President Rodrigo Duterte advises his daughter, President, Vice President Sara Duterte, to exit politics and seek peaceful life. Amid rumors of her potential impeachment, speaking to IFM News Davao on November 7, Duterte urged that, uh, to leave politics and suggested she pursue business. He expressed concerns over her political future, noting she rarely seeks his advice, often preferring her mother's guidance. Impeachment rumors arose when lawmakers requested an audit of Sarah's confidential fund use, asserting it was for transparency and not for impeachment. Bayan Steady Casino speculated on October 2023 that controversies surrounding Sarah could eventually lead to impeachment proceedings. FPRRD bows out of Davao City politics. The former President Rodrigo Duterte has officially retired from politics, confirming he will not return as Davao City Mayor, a, a role he prefers to leave to the next generation. Speaking to IFM News Davao on November 7, he said, It's no longer my time, and emphasizes his wish to pass the leadership to, to his children, Vice President Sara Duterte, Congressman Paulo Duterte, and Mayor Sebastian Duterte. Dismissing rumors of a Senate bid, Duterte affirmed his commitment to Davao, where his political journey began. He expressed a desire for a peaceful retirement, looking forward to being buried alongside his parents. National News, Kibuloy hospitalized over heartbeat irregularity. Televangelist Pastor Apollo Kibuloy, detained for qualified human trafficking, was transferred to the Philippine Heart Center on November 8 after experiencing chest pain. According to the Philippine National Police Spokesperson Brigadier General Gene Fajardo, Kibuloy complained of chest discomfort on November 7, leading to an electrocardiogram that revealed arterial fibrillation with rapid verticular response, a life-threatening condition. The PNP General Hospital recommended further examination at more equipped facility, and the Pasig Regional Trial Court granted the transfer. Kibuloy remains 
heavily guarded in a private room at PHC until November 16 for additional tests. Russell's action undermined public trust. Junel Sasida, also known as Indai Hosa Chiongbian Osmeña, criticized the action of Colin Russell, former Cebu City Administrator, after the arrest on November 8 for usurpation of authority and resisting arrest at Cebu City Hall. Saseda, who is also the complainant in the nepotism case against the dismissed Mayor Michael Rama, condemned Russell's behavior, stressing that public servants must uphold the law and set an example. Russell had tried to enter his office after his suspension ended but was bared, prompting him to hold press conference in the dismissed mayor's office. Suseda emphasized the importance of integrity and adherence to the law by public officials. International news. How Trump's staffing has already turned into a war. As Donald Trump neared re-election on Tuesday night, the focus quickly shifted to staffing a potential second term. This discussion escalated into all-out battles, with maneuvering happening with Mar A. Logos dining areas. Wednesday night saw a crowded ballroom with people vying for prime sitting close to Trump's regular spot behind a velvet rope. Notable figures like Robert F. Kennedy Jr., Donald Trump Jr., Tulsi Garbarb, and Tom Barrack were seen mingling at the club. Trump spent part of the day reviewing names previously suggested by transition co-chair Howard Lutnick, though there is a speculation on whether he will fully trust these recommendations. U.S. carries out second consecutive night of strikes in Yemen, defense official says. The United States has conducted the second consecutive night of strikes against the Houthi targets in Yemen. Following the series of strikes on Saturday, these strikes primarily targeted had intensified due to the Houthis' ongoing threat to the U.S. warship and commercial vessels in the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden vital waterware for global trade. Despite these efforts, Houthi strikes continue, exacerbating Yemen's already dire humanitarian crisis, worsened by the ongoing civil war and climate catastrophes. The United States has consistently targeted Houthi force over the last year, using sophisticated weapons like stealth B-2 bombers to send a message about the consequences of their actions. Entertainment news, SNL cast directly appealed to President-elect Donald Trump during cold open post election episode. In the first Saturday night live SNL episode after the presidential election, several cast members humorously addressed President-elect Donald Trump, expressing their desire to be excluded from his political enemies list. The stretch initially began to submerge tone, acknowledging the shock and horror may felt about the election results. However, it quickly shifted to the comedy as Keenan Thompson joked about supporting Trump all along, with other cast members playfully claiming they voted for him numerous times. The segment included the revamped impersonation of Trump by James Austin J Johnson, now portraying a masculine version of the president. Danny Carvey also made a cameo on Elon Musk. Grammy Awards nomination for 2025 revealed. The nominees for the 2025 Grammy Awards were announced by Beyonce leading to the pack with 11 nominations, bringing her total to 99, more than any other artists. Kendrick Lamar, Charlie XCX, and Billie Eilish each earned 7 nominations. The top categories including Album of the Year, Beyonce, Cowboy Carter, Taylor Swift, 
the tortured poets department, Sabrina Carpenter, short and sweet, among the others. Recording, record of the year, the Beatles, now and then, Kendrick Lamar, not like us, Sabrina Carpenter, Expresso. Song of the year, Beyonce, Texas Hold'em, Kendrick Lamar, not like us, Taylor Swift, Fourth Night. Best New Artist, Chappelle Rowan, Benson Bone, Sabrina Carpenter. Best Pop Solo Performance, Billie Eilish, Birds of the Feather, Beyonce, Bodyguard. Best Rap Album, The Shea, Alligator Bites Never Heal. Eminem, The Death of Slim Shady. J. Cole, Might Delete Later. Best Country Album, Beyonce, Cowboy Carter. Chris Sapleton, Higher, Casey Mushgraves, Deeper Well. Well, winners will be announced at the event in Los Angeles on February 2. Sports News. Lionel Messi and Inter Miami crash out of MLS playoff in stunning lose to Atlanta United. Lionel Messi and the Inter Miami suffered a stunning 3-2 lose to Atlanta United in the first round of the MLS playoff, getting eliminated in the best of three series decider on Saturday. Despite Matias Rojas opening the scoring, Atlanta United quickly responded with the two goals from Jamal Thierry. Messi equalized in the 65th minute. Bartu's Sliz uh, header in the 76th minutes secured the upset for Atlanta, Miami, which had record-breaking regular season, was considered a favorite to win the MLS Cup. Atlanta now facing Orlando City in the conference semifinal advance after a dramatic series of upsets in the East. LSU criticized after bringing Cage Live Tiger into stadium before defeat to Alabama. Number 15 LSU faced backlash for unveiling a live Cage Tiger named Omar Bradley at Tiger Stadium before their 42nd, 42-13 lose to number 11 Alabama in their SEC showdown. The Tiger was rolled onto the field in cage, creating spectacle uh, with the spotlight and photographers. But this return to a long-standing tradition sparked controversy. LSU had moved away from the practice in 2015, keeping their live mascot, Mike the Six, on campus. Critics, including Peta, P-E-T-A and local protesters condemned the act as cruel, while Louisiana Governor Jeff Landry defended as a tribute to the past mascots. On the field, Alabama dominated with quarterback Jalen Monroe leading the team to the victory. Featured Stories Davao City welcomes new green spaces with Echo Parks initiative. Davao City is taking a major step towards sustainability with its newly launched Echo Parks initiative. The city government has committed to creating green spaces in urban areas to, to combat pollution and enhance the quality of life. These parks will feature walking trails, bike lanes, and educational hubs about environmental conservation. The initiative aims to promote ecotourism and provide Davaoenos with more areas to enjoy nature while also supporting biodiversity. The eco parks are expected to be fully operational by next year. Alabama's Jalen Monroe powers Crimson Tide to victory over LSU. Alabama's quarterback Jalen Monroe had a stellar performance as the Crimson Tide defeated number seven LSU 42-13 in a key SEC or SEC matchup. Moreau rushed of four 185 yards and scored four touchdowns, including a crucial 72-yard run in the fourth quarter 
to seal the win. Despite the packed Tiger Stadium, Alabama's defense also stepped up, intercepting LSU's Gather Noshimir twice. With the win, Alabama improves to 7-2 while LSU falls to 6-3. Trivia. Did you know that Andres Bonifacio was self-taught in the art of war? Andres Bonifacio, one of the leading figures in the Philippines, Philippine Revolution, was a self-taught military strategist. Despite having no formal military education, Bonifacio leaderships, Bonifacio's leadership and understanding uh, of guerrilla tactics led him to successfully command the Katip Katipunan, a revolutionary group fighting for Philippines independence. His ability to learn through books and experience inspire many and showcase his innate leadership quali qualities. That is all for our news today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, this is your newscaster Elijah Helcacho. Good morning, Davao. If you find this segment informative, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to stay updated with our latest news and share this broadcast to your friends and family. Your support helps us keep you informed. Help us get our first 10,000 subscribers. Your engagement matters. Liking, sharing, and subscribing to our content not only helps more people discover the important stories we bring you, but also supports our team's hard work. It boosts our visibility in the algorithm, making it easier for others to find ways to stay informed. Thank you for being part of our community.